Today in our how to budget video, we are going to be going over our family budget report card and using every dollar, of course, because we love every dollar. And we're gonna talk all about budgeting using our real numbers as an example. And this month was crazy. I mean, government shut down, we were on a tight budget, and then we went back to our regular budget and it was a whole thing. And we spent money, not gonna lie. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. So this month our income was $12,836. Wait, wasn't that different from the amount that I gave going into the budget? Here? And this budget is sort of zero based, kinda, but not really, but kinda, you'll see. It'll make sense in a minute. Our income for the month of February is $9,758. So what we did is once the government was back up and running, we pulled $3,250 out of our savings account, which was our emergency fund. Like not our actual emergency fund, just like the government shut down. We don't know what to do emergency fund. And we put that back into our budget and we went back to our pretty normal spending for the most part, which brought us up to the $12,836. So I am cutting off the top of my head because I just put shoes on. So I'm going to lift this up much better. So the first thing in our budget is our storage unit because it's always the first thing in our budget and we spent $270 on the storage unit and down in the description box is the video explaining why if you don't already know. In our utilities category, the only thing we spent money on this month was our cell phones for $182.17. And in our food category, we had a lot of food. And legitimately, you're going to see a lot of eating out. And I'm not sure why that occurred. We had the Valentine's Day eating out, which we knew about. Because by that point, we knew they were going to come to a resolution. Or maybe they had already come to a resolution. To, it was either the next day or that day. And we decided, yes, we were going to go out and celebrate Valentine's Day. But for some reason, we did a lot of eating out this month. And one of the things you'll notice about us is when we restrict ourselves, like really restrict ourselves. For me, I do this with dieting too. If I deprive myself too much, I kind of go off the deep end. And so we do this with money too, both Mauricio and I, and we were on a super, super strict budget for almost two full months, like nothing, not a single thing. And I think our like natural reaction to that was to spend money and like do fun stuff when we thought it was all over and at least temporarily until September or October when it happens again. But we just kind of went over the deep end. And so that is one thing I have always known about Mauricio and I, and that's why you see a little bit extra spending in our budget because we know how we behave. And we know that it's pretty normal for us to kind of go insane if we're too restrictive. So we try not to get that insanity. And I'm not justifying it. I'm just explaining this is our pattern. And so, you know, it is what it is. And we, we accounted for it in the budget. We still made a huge debt payment this month. So did it really impact anything? I mean, maybe a few hundred dollars we could have put to debt, but that doesn't really move the needle much when you owe hundreds of thousands of dollars. So what did we spend? We have 40242 in groceries and the groceries do include our subscription to Home Chef, which we pay for. We did not have Home Chef at the beginning of the month, but we did get it at the end of the month and we love it. And we paid $40 for school bucks because Melina was eating at school. I think she's going through a growth spurt. That's what I've decided because she's eaten a lot and she's not, you know, filling out or anything, but I have noticed her pants are a little shorter. And then I bought a few food items on Amazon for $25.84. So this one was super fun. Mauricio decided to take Melina on a date, right? right around Valentine's Day. And he took her out to dinner, 
just the two of them. And then they went and did some virtual reality video games. And so that we went ahead and put it in the budget and I was totally okay with it. I am a huge proponent of fathers dating their daughters and teaching them how they need to be treated on a date. I think that's super important for the development of a healthy young female. So I think they went to California Pizza Kitchen. Well, I know they went to California Pizza Kitchen because they brought me dinner back and that was 8114. And then we went and saw Air Force One and that was so cool. It was really, really neat. And we had a really good time. We couldn't take pictures inside, but but we did get, you know, the token selfie out on the stairs and we did get suckered into buying the picture. I was happy with it. I really it was such a great day. We just had so much fun, but we did spend money that day. So we went to Rosa Mexicano, which, oh my goodness, was so good. Like true, authentic Mexican, not like Tex-Mex Mexican, but like Mexican food, Mexican. And I actually had, what did I have? Enchiladas de pollo con mole poblano or something like that. Yeah, it, it's basically enchilada, chicken enchiladas with mole sauce. And if you've never had mole sauce, it's, it's either you love it or you hate it. And I love mole, love it in all forms. So whenever I find a restaurant that has it, I always try it. And I'm a little bit of a mole snob, but this was really, really, really good. So maybe we'll go back. It was on the pricey side for three of us. It was one twenty six thirty one, And then of course, afterwards we had to go get ice cream because, oh my gosh, can't have a day date with family without ice cream, right? <laughs> so we went and got ice cream and that was 15, 23. One day I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off, running errands. And I realized it was like 1.30 and I hadn't eaten lunch and my blood sugar was dropping. So I stopped by Honey Grow and got a salad and that was $9.81. And I get the same salad at Honey Grow every single time. I am a creature of habit and it's always $9.81. <laughs> then one night we went out to dinner with Melly's godmother, which was $1.18.58. Eight, and we went to Founding Farmers. And then our Valentine's Day dinner that I discussed before for $125.72. And then Mauricio and I went out on a date night. We had a friend in from town out of town, and my parents were gonna baby babysitting Melly. And at the last minute, our friend from out of town had to cancel because he had to work. And so we weren't able to go out with him, but we figured since we had already planned it, let's go ahead and go out. So Mauricio and I went out for dinner at 88.73. So yeah, there was a lot of eating out this month. So, but is what it is. It will not be carrying over into March. And in the transportation category, we had gas at 103.47 because, you know, cars need gas. And then we paid $70 for the Easy Pass. And what was so funny is we didn't use the Easy Pass once while we were on the government shutdown. And the first time we used it, I don't remember why we used it. It might've been to go see Air Force One. Yeah, that's what it was. The first time we got the alert that the account had just been charged. So had we used it during the shutdown, it would have charged us then. In the insurance and tax category, we paid $183.50 for car and renter's insurance, $91 for USAA life insurance, $12 for CMFG life insurance, and $35.81 for Xander life insurance. And as I said, I am in the process of getting my life insurance up, so I'm expecting it's going to increase soon. Aside from the food category, this is the other category category that broke the bank this month. Health. So Mauricio's medication from his neurologist was 6621. Melina's specialist we did not have to go to this month. So Melina needs medication for allergies and asthma. She's been having horrible hive problems. She breaks out in hives like three and four times a day anymore. When I'm recording this, we don't know what's causing it. She just had a huge amount of blood work done and we're hoping that will give us some answers. She did have allergy testing. I don't think she's allergic to anything. Um, but they did also do blood allergy testing because her skin was so reactive. She's just having some very major issues right now. It's, it's kind of scary as a parent to not know what's wrong with your kid. And is it life threatening? No, I, I can't imagine that it is. Keep her in your thoughts and prayers. 
that we get an answer and that it's something that we can fix. That's mostly what I'm concerned about because poor kid's miserable. I mean, imagine you get itchy hives three and four times a day. She's she's taken Benadryl so much that she's pretty much developed a tolerance to Benadryl, and I'm not going to increase her Benadryl. It's just, it's horrible. So then we also had to pay $35 to go see her specialist number three, which is her allergy specialist. My dentist appointment was free. Mauricio's neurology appointment was canceled. They just did everything over the telephone. And Melly had a pediatrician's appointment for $25 at the very end of January, and it kicked in in February. I had genetic testing for cancer because my my I have a super proactive primary care physician, and because there's um, my mother had cancer before 50, they are checking me thoroughly to see if I am possibly going to have cancer. And so they wanted to check. And the good news is I am completely negative and I have no genes that predispose me to cancer. It doesn't mean I can't have cancer, but not genetic linked cancer, at least what of the genetics that they know about yet. I could have something super rare, but I'm going to go with, I'm, I'm perfectly safe. <laughs> then Melina had a pediatrician follow-up appointment and that was 2943. I had a specialist appointment dealing with the breast cancer issue. Uh, it's not actually my specialist. It's my primary care. I had to go see her to get some paperwork done. That was $25. And then Melina had her big old dentist appointment for $215. And I talked about that in my last video with her having alien teeth and needing surgery and all of that. But I don't think she's going to be able to have surgery right now because I don't think she's going to be approved for surgery because of her other health issues. Until those are diagnosed, I really don't think they're going to be allowing her to go under anesthesia. And then Melina has to go to another specialist for $325. <sighs> Melina's health is terrifying to me. It's just, it's, it's really difficult. And at some point when we have some answers, I'll talk about everything. It started, I don't know, in the fall last year and it just, it went downhill very quickly. And then I'm going to a specialist and that is going to cost $999. At some point, I'm going to do a whole video on that and explain all of that. But for right now, I don't want to get into it because this video is already redonkulously long. And in our savings category, it's not really savings. It's our sinking fund category. We have our standard sinking funds. We have $1,000 for a trip to Columbia, $200 for summer camp for Melina, $150 for medical, which by the way, I'm not actually using yet. I think probably I'll be using that for Melina's surgery. I haven't really decided. Originally it was in there for my neck injections for, for dystonia. I have my neck paralyzed and I had to pay a lot, but I recently got into a program where I get copay assistance. So I actually don't have these huge medical payments for that anymore. So probably for Melina's surgery, we will go ahead and use that money that's sitting in that account. Then we have $100 for car repair and replace, $300 for Christmas, $100 for emergency trip to Columbia, $50 for miscellaneous school expenses, and we are not funding our emergency fund or work travel fund because those are both fully funded. And it, these numbers are accurate in the remaining pile. Those are how much we actually have in our sinking funds at this point. It's so freeing to have this much money that we're just sitting on. So as y'all know, Mauricio is in school now and working also. And so we now have school associated expenses and we're gonna have a lot of them based on the program that he's in. This month we had to pay for a parking permit for Mauricio at school, which was $70. And that that's based on like a certain number of hours, but we figured out the math. And if he's taking more than one class, then paying the semester parking permit for $80 is actually cheaper. But for now he's got the $70, which is based on the number of hours he actually parks at the school. And then he had 5727 for supplies for his his class that he's taking right now. And basically he's going to have construction supplies with various classes throughout the whole program, you know, board, 
boards, art board, decorative stuff, um, exacto knives, you know, the whole gamut of stuff in our lifestyle category. We had iTunes at $35.96, Audible at $11.96 because I canceled Audible and then I bought a book. Not even gonna lie, I missed Audible and so I bought a book. <laughs> $3.99 for Amazon Music, and $2 is my 25% Ernie fee. And if you don't know about Ernie, you have to sign up. Oh my goodness, it's it's so easy. I don't know why everybody's not talking about it and everybody's not doing it. Maybe it kind of freaks people out that you have to link your card, but I've had it linked. I mean, I have, I have my debit, debit card linked. I don't use a credit card. I'm not a credit card person. I've gotten quite a bit of money back. I mean, quite a bit. And it, it takes no effort on my part, none. Then in the Melina category, we had before and after care. So I paid Melina's before and after care at the end of January, but it didn't clear until February. So this is for January and February. We had $99 for swim lessons, $280 for Spanish classes, $1450 for a field trip that's coming up that we had to pay. We did not do the online study program. She's registered for that for March. She had a Valentine's Day party at school. And so I spent $67. $7.98 on her stuff for that, you know, all the stuff that you send in, plus some other stuff for that that I had to send in. We spent $37.53 on our Valentine's Day gift from Melina, which was flowers and chocolates and a little cheap little silver necklace. And then I spent $33.35 at Michael's for Valentine's Day and 100 day crafting supplies because I had to make Melina a t shirt for the 100 days of school. And so we spent, we had feathers and some other stuff that we had to get for that. Then her school had bingo night and that was $21. And then I spent $25 for her school yearbook. And in the cash category, we spent $183.89 for blow money. And we spent $18.31 at Sally Beauty. In the YouTube category, we spent $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $9 for Morning Fame, and $148.38 for an external hard drive. Does it feel like I have to buy an external hard drive like every three months? Well, actually it has been that way. I have finally gotten my computer set up so that I have one external hard drive for photos and videos, like the raw data. Then I have one external hard drive for YouTube stuff. And then I have one external hard drive, which is like the mechanical inner workings of Final Cut Pro. By having three external hard drives hooked up to my computer, it actually allows me to not have to store anything on my computer itself, which actually massively slows down my computer and makes editing really a huge pain in the butt. So this is the best way to go. So when I say I'm buying external hard drives, I might buy an external hard drive for photos and then three months later I have to buy an external hard drive for YouTube videos. And that's basically that. But there are much bigger external hard drives, but they are so significantly more expensive. This is actually the cheapest way to do it. And I'm hoping I won't have to buy another one for at least three months. And in the work expenses category, we had nothing. No parking, no nothing. In the online shopping category, we didn't really have anything except the bins that I got for Melina's American Girl doll stuff. So we have discovered that Melina operates with a clean room much better if she has bins. And so I bought several bins for her to keep and I'll probably end up buying more of those. But these bins were fantastic because they're smaller in size. They're made for a bathroom. But for American Girl doll stuff, she can keep all the different, like her camping equipment in one and her shoes in another and clothes in one. And so it just absolutely works out that they're not these huge bins. They're these smaller bins. So it's great. I love these bins and they're super sturdy and super solid too. And in our cushion category, we had 2098 for some stuff that I didn't actually intend to order and it happens. And I was really irritated because it was one of those purchases that accidentally made it into my cart. And when I was buying it, I didn't notice it was in the cart. I was in a hurry when I was buying something else. And so it bought these, these two, it was two packs of t-shirts in a size that nobody wears, but I didn't want them anyway. And so I went to return them. And of course I got that money back. No problem. I tried to cancel the order as soon as I realized it, which was like 15 minutes after I did it, but they sent the stuff anyway, but they ended up reimbursing me that 2098. So it was no big deal. So Mauricio and I are huge suckers. When there is a picture involved, we will almost always buy it. 
not even joking. I'm big into pictures and digital memory. So we did buy the 2708 picture for uh, Air Force One. And of course my eyes are closed in it and whatever. Melina loves it. She was super excited. She has it in her room. Then we spent 5538 tooling around National Harbor and we rode the Ferris wheel and did some fun stuff with that. I got some great pictures of Melina. I just loved it. Had a fantastic day. Then there was a $5 parking charge at Air Force One. And then $24 for virtual reality on daddy-daughter date night. And then $13 for parking at National Harbor. So this month we gave nothing, which is unheard of for us, actually. I mean, truly unheard of. We always have money in the giving category, but this month we didn't even do our giving sinking fund. Yeah, not even joking. And then I got my travel reimbursement for work, which was $2,784.94, which doesn't really impact anything because I get all of that money from my office, but it goes through my checking account. So I do go ahead and track it in every dollar. And then our debt payment. So we did not make much in the way of debt payments this month, just the basics, just the minimums. We go, went ahead and took that, that extra money that we would have paid to debt and left it in with the March payment. And we're going to make one huge lump sum payment. So this month we paid $145 on our visa, $465 on our car loan, $500 on our USAA loan, and $174.10 on our school loan. And I have no idea why it auto-drafted $10 less on our school loan, but it did. And I checked and our balance is zero, so it is what it is. And I had to get a blood test for my very first time, feeling it and seeing it. And I was really brave. The, first they started poking. I had the same problem as my mom they, um, and my grandma. We all have wiggly veins. I really like snow. Comment down below, do you like snow? And I do because I get to go sledding and go ice skating and I get to sit by the fire and have hot cocoa and go in the hot tub and play and watch my Nintendo and sleep in. Yay! My mom and me are being really silly today. I'm going to do a magic trick and close your eyes. Tell in the comments if you guys picked. So, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. See, now I'm gone. I did a magic trick. I'm, I'm back. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.